Well, it is definitely cold. This is the coldest weather we've had all winter. This is the kind of weather that we were unfortunately stuck with a lot last year. So Environment Canada has issued an extreme cold warning for the city of Toronto. And with the wind chill, it feels like between minus 30 and minus 40. It is going to warm up somewhat today, but not very much, just marginally. And then tonight, again, it's going to be cold with those wind chills once again down into the minus 30s. For tomorrow, when the NBA All-Star Game is being played, it is going to be slightly warmer, at least. Nothing like this, but certainly pretty difficult, and I'm not used to uh, having to bundle up like this anymore after having such a mild winter so far most of the events are inside and so in this uh, per this tent that they've put together it's an indoor tent where some exclusive events are being held last night it was Gwen Stefani and Usher who played here and there was a staffer who's working these events who just walked by a few minutes ago she told me there are lots of heaters inside and at the event last night uh, lots of the who's who of the entertainment world she uh, termed it as she said that they could pay her mortgage with their pocket change. So those people are being kept warm. But for the other people who've come here for the All-Star Weekend, uh, I noticed that this morning, for example, Uber had its surge pricing on, so it was almost double the price of what it would normally be. I wasn't, I wasn't seeing a lot of taxis either, and I'm sure that could be more difficult in the evening when there are so many events going on. The good news is, is that most of the events are indoors, and for people who who are going to be heading here tomorrow after the All-Star Game uh, for an event that's with Snoop Dogg. It's actually just a one-block walk from where the All-Star Game is being held at the ACC.